All right, you guys, we're about to head to the thrift store right now. Uh, we're about 20 minutes later than I thought I was gonna be because some people just moved in across the street and we had to go steal all their boxes. <laughs> all right, guys, now that we're stocked and loaded, let's go hit some Goodwills. All right, guys, stop number one. My first stop always right in front of the door. Shoes, there are those. Pai Pujar Canada. That is a new one on me. I'm definitely about to look those up because they're Canadian and that's normally a good sign. So the same exact boot sold for best offer on $50. So since they're asking $18.99, I'm gonna leave those behind. Um, I will say some of the other ones had higher comps, but these never sold for more than 50 and several sold for 30. So we're gonna leave those behind. I don't see anything else too great in here that's worth the prices. Let's go, guys. Look, I am your father. Wolfgang Cut Juicer. I have to check this out real quick, guys. Wait, let's see how much of this first before I. Before I dare. Is that the price? I don't think it is. Looks like it's not priced, which is a pain in the butt because then you have to go get a pricer to do it. Let me look it up and see if it's worth it. So there wasn't any of this full juicer actually listed, but the top pieces are selling for like $18 to $20 by themselves. So I am going to see um, how much they want for this one. Okay guys, so I have sold a couple of Cuisinart um, frozen yogurt makers. Not this one though. This is a more simple model. But again, this one's only $4.99 and just this piece right here sells for $20. There's none of these listed and they sell for about 25 to 30 used. So for $4.99, I'm gonna pick it up because I know it's gonna be a quick sell. Most of this other stuff is just um, beat up, same old, same stuff. These rice makers do pretty decent if they're new. Looks like we got some nice little fold scrap sets here for $8.99. But um, you should be pretty particular about your fold scrap these days. I got excited just now because I saw that babe Bo's wave music system. Christmas lights. We got a Maui's hook. It's like about a 20 inch or so. And it lights up. I've sold one of these before, but it wasn't this one. Jack Pacific. That might be worth it. This is interesting too. Phineas and Ferb. Is this a CD player? I'm about to look this up, guys. Okay, this looks cooler than what it is. It only sells for about 20 bucks. Oh, that was gonna be like 50 bucks, guys. I think it's cool looking. Vintage fire engine. The ladder. So it looks like this is only selling for about 12 bucks unless it has the fireman. And if it has the fireman, it's selling for about 30. There's another one. Somebody loved little types of um, fire toys. Some games, it looks like. I have some rock band stuff on your list. Of course, no game. I do. I could use that game to go with some other stuff. Nothing good. Guys, this thing will not stop making noise. Okay, let's hit off. That's why Kayla. And I'm gonna get this little Barbie boat for Kinsley because it's a dollar I know. I did just see these. I wanna check out. <clears throat> these look like some, well, mini Melissa's. Well, adult versions, which are just Melissa's. Campana. I've never found any adult in the wild. I've sold several of the kids' pair of these mini Melissa's anywhere from 15 to 40 bucks. I'll put a comp up here for how much these are worth. I think we're definitely gonna add those to the bag. They also smell good, you guys. That's how to know if they're fake or not because um, especially the children's of these are very highly faked. And uh, yeah, smelling them, believe it or not, they have a sweet smell. <laughs> these are some nice looking sparrows. They're a little small, but for $4.99, and 
check that one. It looks like they're about in perfect condition. And this music is blaring, you guys. I'm definitely gonna take those for $4.99. Should be able to get at least 20 out of those. I've looked in most of the store. I just have to hit the men's shoes and then we're gonna be on to the next. Some more drive-in loafers. This is just a good style. Those look pretty worn though. If, if they didn't have this little, not little, but if they weren't, well, hmm. Can you guys tell I haven't made up my mind yet? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave these because of this wear. Okay, you guys. This is all we're getting at this one. Well, we're gonna see how much this is real quick. We're gonna check out and head to the next one. So they told me $3.99 on that um, Wolfgang Puck juicer. So we spent a total of $27 with our donation for the tornado fund. And we should be able to make 27 bucks off of um, just the frozen sorbet maker. So not too shabby. On to the next one. Goodwill number two. Kate Spade. It's got stains on it. It's a pretty nice little style though. Might have been worth it if it didn't have stains for 20 bucks, but definitely not with stains. Now explain this rationale to me guys. So we got some generic Target, new tags for $20. Goodwill price, $18.99. And again, this is why this is my least favorite Goodwill because their prices just don't make any sense at all. A wearing producer. I'm gonna leave that because it doesn't have any pieces. It's not really a good one. This lamp is super cool. If I had a booth so I would pick that up. It's not marked anywhere. <clears throat> that is a neat lamp. Bobine Brew. <laughs> Only in Kentucky. I tell you, if you're a homeschooling parent, Goodwill is your best friend. Kinsley's already doing pretty good on telling Tom that this looks fun. $1.99. Check that out. It's a SeaWorld fan and his tail is the fan. It's pretty awesome. These look like some pretty nice lands in women's shoes here. They're in really good condition. They're standard price. I think I might give those a try. Should be able to get around 20, maybe a little bit more. We'll see. These two ladies that just ran into each other that know each other in here. One's wearing a mask and one's not. And they just got into a little argument. The other lady's trying to tell the other lady that it doesn't matter to wear a mask. I'm not commenting on the opinion. It's just hilarious that they're arguing about it right now back there. I wish I was a little bit of a slime ball sometimes. So I would just record people's crap. All right, guys, this is it for this okay. one. Right, Those two it. things. On to the next one. All right, here we are at Goodwill number three. This is the one with the empty shelves last time. Let's hope for something better today. Right off the bat, they're playing a copywritten song, but I noticed this awesome North Face jacket, and it happens to be my size. We try to buy everything we can pre-owned, so I'm going to think about this one for myself. Check this out. Hardy Boys new season one. Looks like there's a ton of these that have sold for 20 bucks, so for 99 cents, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna snag this Word World PBS also. It's probably not a 10, but I would say like 10 bucks. This is about a $20 waffle maker. It was like a dollar at a yard, so I'll pick this up. I'm sure it's not all that. It's not worth $4.99. Alright guys, this bag of nativity characters is $2.99. 
it's all mismatched, but I sold this um, same Joseph and Mary Fontanini, I believe, for $20 for this set. And there's a good possibility that more of those are Fontanini pieces in this bag. So I'm going to take that for $2.99. Our money is in Mary and Joseph right there. I think I am going to get this for myself, you guys, because it's long. It's 18 I think I am going to take that. I'm standing in line right now waiting to check out, and I just looked at this little Jacqueline Smith bag, and I saw one that sold for 30 bucks, so I'm going to pick that up, too. Most of these Jacqueline Smith bags don't sell for even more than 10 bucks. I guess this is just a pretty decent style. Okay, you guys, so this was behind the counter, this fossil bag, and it's priced a little steep for resale at $14.99. Just guessing, I would say I could probably get $40 out of this bag, but I uh, love it. And it has a big enough strap to clip a GoPro. So um, this is coming home with me. Even before we started reselling, Jonathan, I hate buying anything new. And we shopped yard sales and thrift stores anyways. So it's nothing um, new to me to get all my stuff from thrift stores. Matter of fact, you guys, this is jacket I got at a yard sale. This Kentucky shirt I got at a thrift store. Matter of fact, the only thing I'm wearing that I did not buy secondhand is uh, this GoPro. All right, guys, on to the next one. This is going to be my last stop of the day. Fourth and final Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. So I just stepped in the door and I already see this is a Mr. Christmas Symponium and I've sold the same one for 60 bucks. Though that one looks like it has a little bit of scratches and it doesn't have a disc inside that plays the music. It stinks because you can't see stuff so good in here. Like if those have all the discs, they sell for closer to a hundred bucks. I might have to ask to see that. I got excited just now thinking I found another one of these $80 halogen lamps. Unfortunately, this one is broken. But definitely keep an eye out for industrial lamps like that because it's the style, not the brand that sells it. Whatever you do, don't say it was made by Underwriters Laboratory. <laughs> How easy it is to tip people off. Oh my god. We got mixing bowl replacement pieces for Sunbeam. Where's the mixer? Oh, is that the mixer right there that goes with it? That's so gassy. It's just gotten separated. So this particular Sunbeam mixer complete, it sells for $90 and they have all those pieces, but it's 50 bucks. So um, it's not worth fooling with for 50 bucks. This Onkyo receiver only goes for about 45 bucks, but some sell for a lot more. So it's best to look them up. This one is a dud and we're leaving that behind though. Don't see anything else too good in this spot. So this Magnavox compact disc player, there is 10 of these listed anywhere from 80 to hundred dollars on eBay, but zero sold. Another pass. What is this? X-Files cassettes on audio. Interesting. Been looking for new VHS. I don't know a lot about VHS, but I know that certain new VHS, particularly with the watermarks, are on the rise if they're good titles. <laughs> I have yet to find a good title, but I ain't gonna stop hunting. I think Kevin Commonwealth Picker is the go to guy on the VHS knowledge right now. He sold some $700 VHS. That's a pretty dirty. Very good style. Kind of worn. I think I'm gonna pass on those. Oh yeah, definitely look at the toe. Let's see. Some Sperry's with elastic on the side. Hmm. Kind of small and the elastic is kind of weird. 
They're nice leather. Men's nine. I might just go and pick those up. Somebody has to like the slip on ease. They're in too good of a condition to leave behind. I should be able to get at least 20 for the standard price. I did just get a pamphlet given to me in the last one or one of their little flyers that said they've raised their prices again. So I'm not sure if our standard shoe price is the same or if it went up. I'm gonna look at like these fairies, $12.99, right next to those others. Ooh, somebody said something went down in price. I wonder what. All right, we got some hokas. Mm, $12.99. I guess they found out about the hokas. I don't know about these. So this sole is all messed up inside and it won't even lay flat. So for that reason, I'm not even gonna look up this style to see um, if it's worth the 12 right on. I was probably gonna pick them up, but that bunched up in sole is a, it's a deal breaker. Those are pretty nice Asics right there. Asics aren't my favorite. But those look pretty good. Are these standard? Be standard. Oh, be standard. Okay. I'm gonna snag those. I would say we should be able to get about 25 out of those. Let's see, these look nice. These born, yes, they are. Now they're standard price. I'm gonna take these tape. Those look really good. Oh yeah, we're gonna get those too. I think I see some kings. Standard price again. Not the best style. What's going on there? That's a little weird where it meets, I guess. Let's check out the other one. That's just how it meets right there, how the leather meets. go ahead and get these. I think I should be able to get 20 bucks out of these. Not the best style, but again, pretty good condition. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. They're kind of a small size. What size are these? 36. They're pretty cute though. Really good condition. I might get those too. I'm dropping shoes everywhere today. Regular price, but those are pretty worn on the bottom. And they're a little distorted on top. Shifted to the side. Alright, so this I'm only seeing one of right now, which is I don't know if there's just one or if it's hiding. If I find the other one, I would pay standard price for that. These are what just caught my eye though. I have never heard of this brand. Looks like some sort of climbing or hiking shoe. I wonder how we say that. Kunj? Kunji? <coughs> Who knows? But they're. Oh, well, let's see. Standard price. Yes. I was concerned because we had an empty cart. Now we're filling it up with shoes. I was considering buying these Echo shoes, but unfortunately they're missing the soles, so I'm gonna leave those behind. I did just snag several things of clothes, but it had to be really quick, so I'll show you guys those in just a second. I'm hoping. I was thinking about this BOC purse, but it has a little bit of stains right there and it has that spot. And since I can normally only get about 20 bucks for the BOC, I'm gonna leave that behind. But I thought about it. <laughs> Okay guys, these are the things I just grabbed off the new clothes rack. This Rod Stewart um, band tour shirt. It's got something on it, but it definitely looks like it'll wash off. And I think our t-shirts, t-shirts are still $2.99. This is a reversible North Face jacket that will fit Kinsley next year. So I think I'm going to just put it away for her. 
Last week I made the mistake of leaving a Foot Joy jacket behind. This time I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. And every single bit of the men's Nike from my last video has sold already. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and start picking up more Nike. These are two really nice men's dry fit size large. And they're standard price of men's tops, I believe. So I think $4.99 a piece. So I'm gonna take those two. And I think this is it for this one. So we're gonna head out. Okay, guys, I just walked in the door and already something is missing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Did you steal something? Come back. Come say hello. No. You didn't steal it? No. Did you get something today? Actually, you got two somethings because you got this cool um, clock, too. I'm going to put some batteries in it and make sure it works. What do you think about that Barbie boat? Cool. Are you going to take a bath with it later? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You can take it. Thanks for bringing it back. Love you. Bring it back? What do you mean? Like bringing it back in here for mom <laughs> so I could show them. Okay, you guys, this is the personal, not that, these are the personal items for the day. I just looked up this North Face parka, and it last sold for $60 in gray, and this is like a really pretty blue color, um, so if it doesn't fit me, at least I know I will still be able to make some profit off of it, and the same thing with the North Face for Kinsley. This one um, was, I think, $9.99, yeah, $9.99, but it still sells for about $30, bucks. so we could still get profit out of both of those if we wanted to. So speaking of Kinsley, in my last video, uh, you guys saw her working on a piece of artwork and it really bummed me out that somehow after I posted the video, I realized that the clip of her showing the finished artwork to you guys was not in the video. And that kind of broke my heart because most of the time she's too shy to want to participate and it takes a lot for her to do that. So I was super crushed when I realized it was gone. So I'm gonna throw that in right now so you guys can see because there were several of you all that were like, I want to see her finished artwork. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that is so good. All right, show me what's going on. Uh, fancy. I see all the fancy. Look at that outlet and that desk. Oh my gosh. What's on top of that? Is that nail salon? What is this on top of the desk? I can't reach it with my thumb. What? On this? top of the desk. Yep, that's plugged in. Uh, it's a uh, um, it's supposed to be. Hair straightener. Hair straightener. Okay. What? That's why your hair straightener is Because <laughs> mom has to use a hair straightener, huh? That's so well, good. I think, my braids. I think your braids are fantastic. Look. Look at those braids, braid. you guys. And look at these braids. She drew her own beautiful braids. Your beret is beautiful too, honey. It is a wonderful drawing, Kinsley. Thank you for sharing it with everybody. Okay, guys. So this is the rest of the haul sitting out. I don't think I found anything too amazing today, but lots of good um, smaller items, which I will take. So most of these things I already explained in the store. This Foot Joy though is kind of funny. I did not realize it was like a short sleeve rain jacket. They're called Dry Joys. This particular style without the sleeves have two comps that both sold for $30. So Foot Joy is a brand to definitely watch out for, not just in golf shoes. I left a sweater behind in the last one because I wasn't sure, and um, I didn't make that mistake today. So, yeah. Ginger Marvin, if you're watching, I hope at least buying this one um, made up for it. So, funnily enough, after my last video, I got called out on Instagram. Not a, not a real call out, but an in good fun call out. So, my girl Kathy over at Ginger Marvin said she was screaming through her TV at me for um, not buying that entire clothing rack. So I at least picked up the Foot Joy today. Hope that made it up to you. And speaking of Ginger Marvin, if you guys are into clothes and shoes, you should definitely check out their channel. The knowledge that they have on this niche, I'm telling you, if she says you should pick it up, you should pick it up. But I'll drop their link below so you guys can check them out. So we've pretty much talked about everything here. I do wanna dump these out. I just peeled the tape off, but I wanted to wait for you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna dump these out because these are some wood camels. He's birthing a wise man. I guess that's not really the right spot for a camel to be birthing a wise man. You're a little stuck. Yo, oh, these carved camels are cool. We three kings of Orient are. 
daring gifts we travel so far. Italy, you don't belong in there. Okay, you guys, so all these characters right here, it looks like six Fontanini, which is going to make the $2.99 bag worth it. There's definitely going to be some value in those. This guy's broken. <laughs> these don't go in there. Some barn animals. All right, guys, I guess that's all I have for you all today. I put up all these comps throughout the video, so you pretty much know what we've got here. Not a bad little haul for being gone for about two hours and 45 minutes. I will take it. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one.